Hello friends, welcome back to Friend of Health. So today this is the fifth episode of UPSC series for the preparation of Medical Officer, Research Officer, General Duty Medical Officer, Homeopathy. This exam will be held on December 20 and uh, it will be a combined exam for these three posts. Uh, even if it was uh, two no different notifications, uh, the exam will be uh, one single exam and it will be a computer based exam. So it is a combined computer based recruitment test. So, uh, we don't know exact number of questions, but total marks will be 300 and one third of each uh, uh, question or one third of the mark will be deduced, uh, deducted for uh, every negative mark. So, we have to be a little careful. So, we will see the Materia Medica questions. Uh, this is a part three of Materia Medica. We have done already two uh, episodes on repertory and two episodes on Materia Medica. So we have covered the 2016 and 17 question papers, the recent UPSC exam question papers, uh, uh, repertory questions, all the repertory questions and in Materia Medica in UPSC 2016 there were uh, 46 questions and UPSC 2017 30 questions were there. So in this video uh, we are covering the 26 uh, remaining questions uh, at a stretch. Uh, so in this uh, video we will cover 26 questions and uh, next video we will cover the 30 questions from Materia Medica. Then we will move on to important subjects like uh, practice of medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, uh, surgery, etc. Later we will come to uh, subjects like pharmacy, organon, etc. The remaining 26 questions when we deal, uh, we already did uh, 20 questions uh, in UPSC 2016 question paper. So the 21st question, a person of excitable nervous temperament suffers from shooting over left eye, severe pain in eyeballs with radiating pains around eye, shooting into nose, supraorbital neuralgia periodic. What is the most suitable remedy? So the important points like uh, excitable person, nervous temperament, shooting over left eye, severe pain in the eyeball, with radiating pain around eye, shooting into nose, supraorbital neuralgia which is periodic. So these are the symptoms. So glonoin, belladonna, cedron, pulsatilla are the options. The answer is Cedron. We will see the symptoms in the Materia Medica itself. So, Cedron is given in the Williams Boric Materia Medica, not in Allen's keynote. So, Cedron, Rattlesnake Bean. This is one important question. Sometimes they can ask this as a question, like a common name in match the following or as a direct question. So, Rattlesnake Bean. Also, Cedron uh, is also known as Simaruba Perogenia. We will see the symptoms uh, from this uh, drug which is uh, there in the question as a case, case scenario like question it is. So, adapted to persons of a voluptuous disposition, excitable nervous. So, excitable person, nervous temperament. Next is uh, shooting over left eye, the chief complaint in the question. Uh, shooting over left eye, severe pain in eyeball with radiating pain around eye, shooting into nose. And uh, next one, supraorbital neuralgia, periodic. So, these are the symptoms uh, uh, in Cedron and it is given as a case scenario, like a patient is presenting in front of you. So this is the uh, importance of studying Boric Materia Medica. You have to study the uh, common name, the other name or synonyms, then all the relationship uh, part, then the important and uh, peculiar uh, sensations or symptoms and the uh, italic symptoms in Boric Materia Medica. These are very, very important. So this is the way how to study. So I have already done a video on how to study Boric Materia Medica for AAPGT and UPSC. You may watch that if you have not watched. We will move on to the next question. 22. A feeling as if the face is covered with white of an egg or cobweb was on it. The point of the nose is cracked. It has a dusty, wrinkled and old look. There is a craving for dry eyes and dry food and has aggravation from starch, especially the starch of potatoes, salt, milk and any artificial food. Child wakes up confused. Child makes mistakes in writing and speaking. Time passes very slowly. Child is hot and suffers badly in warm room, which is the most suitable remedy. So it is a very long case, so it will take a lot of your time. In UPSC, the main issue is questions will be very long or options will be very tricky and multiple uh, multiple choice questions will be there where, where we have to read four options first, then again we have to answer from uh, A, A, B, C, A and B, A and D like that. So, a lot of time consuming it is. So, that is the importance of doing all these previous question papers. If you are reading only the theory portions and preparing, you may not be able to tackle the exam because uh, when the people who have uh, 
done a lot of uh, uh, preparation with, from the theory and the textbook and those who have uh, simultaneously done many previous mcqs they will score much better than you because uh, if you have not done uh, the old questions the previous questions you won't be able to uh, find out easy ways to understand how to read uh, long questions etc so this is a very long question but it is very simple if you understand so answer is alumina but uh, direct uh, symptoms you may not be able to understand uh, like uh, you may not be able to find out from a single materia medica or in a single paragraph so we will go to other uh, materia medica so in alumina if you see the keynote by hcl and alumina uh, the time passes too slowly uh, which is given in the question it is there in alumina cannabis indica is also having that symptom so time passes too slowly one symptom we got abnormal appetite craving for starch chalk charcoal cloves coffee or tea uh, tea grounds etc then bottle fed babies artificial milk which is given in the question so these are the things we get from allen's keynote in alumina so similarly uh, the lines or uh, the symptom which is given in the question paper we can see in uh, clark's materia medica and borg's materia medica also but the exact uh, case scenario uh, we cannot find out or identify i don't know uh, i have not uh, seen in any of the uh, very important materia medicas like kens materia medica uh, nash materia medica ml tyler uh, so many materia medicas i have referred so if anybody get a very direct reference for that question the 22nd question in this video please comment in the comment section below we'll move on to the 23rd question patient is obliged to keep the extremities elevated when they are allowed to hang down it seems as if they would burst and the pain is unbearable this is found in the drug so answer is vipera because it is very uh, direct allowed to hang down hang down aggravation uh, all these uh, peculiar sensations then um, uh, we'll see in materia medica uh, borg's materia medica vipera german viper so uh, the extremities if you see patient is obliged to keep the extremities elevated when they are allowed to hang down it seems as if they would burst and the pain is unbearable so a direct line from boric spectrum it is asked just like that so this kind of questions if you know if you have gone to the boric peculiar sensations you can save your time for other questions you can answer and move on very fast you can answer this next is 24 eczema no itching exudation forms into a hard lemon colored crust and are characteristics of the answer is cicuta virosa when i have discussed about a symptom which is very opposite uh in dolicos where itching without eruption dolicos when that question was discussed we have discussed all uh, these uh, points like cicutas this important point eczema no itching but in dolicos itching without eruption so these are very repeatedly asked question in uh, any question paper if you see uh, especially in upsc this is one of the favorite question for upsc exam setters many years it is repeated in upsc exam The eczema no itching exudation forms into a hard lemon colored crust cicuta virosa if you see the uh, borix materia medica again water hemlock very important common name cicuta virosa water hemlock uh, skin if you see eczema no itching exudation forms into a hard lemon colored crust so this is very easy question and it these kind of questions again i am telling uh, will help you to save your time and um, uh, you can invest that time on some long questions 25 there is high systolic pressure with a comparatively low diastolic tension under the drug so uh, options are calmia cretaceous barita mur cactus so uh, very close running options if you know the symptom this is a, st a time saving uh, question and this is very easy actually barita mur is the answer barita mur high systolic pressure so if you see the uh, important uh, portion of borix preparation is uh, read over the uh, first paragraph and second paragraph the introduction paragraph of that drug these are very very important area i have already told this many times so arteriosclerosis where a high systolic pressure with a comparatively low diastolic tension is attended by cerebral and cardiac symptoms so the first paragraphs uh, where introduction of the drug is given in borix materia medica it is always better to read them and this kind of very peculiar symptoms you have to note down and keep revising that note then it will be useful for you for the exam especially upsc preparation and the 26th question which drug is used as an external application should be used with caution as it has the ability to produce inflammation rastox crisorobinum calendula thuja so whenever there is a caution in materia medica especially in allen's keynote and boric whenever you see a word of caution 
this drug should not be repeated this drug should not be given in large doses this should, uh, drug should not be given uh, as an external application like that caution whenever is there it is very very important you may make a note in your diary or uh, revision note with a heading of caution itself and you can revise them these are very very important relationship of the drug and the answer is chrysorobinum and you can see in the borix materia medica in the uh, dose part dose part of borix materia medica is always important because some important and uh, very interesting uh, dosage uh, instruction will be there in borix materia medica so chrysorobinum the common name itself is interesting goa powder goa powder and dira aroba, aroba. and uh, the dose is used externally should be used with caution on account of its ability to produce inflammation this is a question if you know it it is time saving otherwise you will be simply guessing it wrong and you may make mistakes so this is it uh, chrysorobinum this symptom 27 the mucus flies out of mouth and nostrils is covered under the drug options badiaga baptisia cuprumet caladium these are very repeatedly asked questions you can see in the previous pg entrance question papers of uh, various states or in the UPSC question papers of various um, years if you see these are very repeatedly asked questions so that is the importance of doing previous questions that's why we are giving our a uh, lot of uh, episodes in the uh, AAPGT or UPSC series if you see you can see previous questions are discussed so we, when we are discussing we are trying to correlate with the related questions or the possible questions from that area also so don't miss any of the ex uh, uh, episodes because in AAPG 2020, there were uh, a good number of questions from our uh, very few number of episodes. So, uh, you may watch all the UPSC series uh, which are upcoming and also the already done one. So, the mucus flies out of mouth and nostrils, uh, bad yaga. Answer is bad yaga. And you see in Borix Materia Medica, bad yaga, fresh water sponge. You can see in the respiratory area, mucus flies out of mouth and nostrils. So, which are very peculiar sensation. I have already given you a tip when you do a boric material medica preparation. You may read from the book, but it is always better. This is uh, this screenshot is taken from the uh, homeoint.org website. So, there they give all the peculiar sensations and the important sensations in blue color and in italics. So, you can read uh, from that also if you are uh, comfortable with reading from screen. And next is 28. The complementary to calcarea carb is the 28th question. Uh, complementary to calcarea carb is belladonna only, rustox only. Neither belladonna nor rustox, both belladonna and rustox. We should know the relationship part, which is especially given in the Gibson Miller's uh, the chart in the uh, backside of Ken's Materia Medica or uh, Borix Materia Medica. That is very, very important. The, uh, action of uh, drugs uh, how many days it acts and also the inimical relationship the complementary relationship follows well relationship antidotal relationship everything in that chart is very important so calcarea carb both belladonna and rustox are complementary if you see the material medica also calcarea carb if you see complementary belladonna rustox lycopodium silica then uh, antidotal relationship is also given and the relationship part of calcarea is very very important we have discussed it many times in the previous UPSC question paper calcarea mure was a question which is taken from the relationship part of uh, uh, calcarea and also this question in the previous uh, um, uh, AAPGT when pulsatilla failed in school girls calcarea carb again it is taken from the relationship part of calcarea carb so answer is belladonna and rustox both of them 29. Desire for apples and other fruits is a characteristic of which drug? Desire for apples and other fruits. Answer is guaiacum. Options are hydrophobinum, gelsemium, gambogia. So if you don't know, you may make a mistake by guessing it wrong. So answer is guaiacum. These are very repeatedly asked questions. So guaiacum, officinale, resin of lignum vitae and uh, um, stomach uh, portion if you see desire for apple and other foods the direct uh, symptom is there so it is a time saving one if you know this kind of interesting symptoms so list all the desire and aversion in uh, uh, like uh, from boric material medica and analysis keynote in one place and uh, keep revising them keep revising them all the desire and aversion so this uh, will help you to memorize also will help you in preparation also 30th question Complaints from eating melons and drinking impure water are under the drug. Very easy, very repeatedly asked question, no confusing options like asal or anything. Just zingiber is given, answer is zingiber. So other options are aconite, pulsatilla, calibike. Here option answer is drinking impure water, zingiber. So uh, zingiber of ginger, 
and uh, you can see this complaints from eating melons and drinking impure water so i have told you already homeoint.org if you read the borix materia medica all the important sensations and peculiar symptoms are given in blue color and italics so uh, you can do that also or if you are comfortable with book book reading you can read from the book also 31 feet get sore from standing tender feet with shop girls these are characteristics of a stock silish asquilla maritima ruta grabialens so if you see this symptom and go for rustox so go for ruta you may get wrong because this symptom is there in squilla maritima and it is a very time saving very direct question which is there in squilla in borix materia medica so c on n one important and common uh, one important common name very interesting common in c on n squilla maritima so if you see the extremities part feet get sore from standing tender feet with shop girls then uh, 32nd question which one of the following is not correctly matched so sorry myasma conitan apillus humid asthma natrum sulf hysterical asthma platina cardiac asthma glonoin so answer here is hysterical asthma platina if you see the first paragraph of uh, platinum metallicum from william borick you can see hysterical spasms uh, there are hysterical spasms pain increase and decrease gradually uh, but not uh, hysterical asthma So hysterical asthma you can see in uh, drugs like moscus and uh, moscus if you see musk musk is the um, common name and if you see uh, you can see difficult respiration chest oppressed hysterical spasm of chest asthma so here hysterical asthma is there in moscus so uh, in platina it is not there so answer is platina wrongly matched pair so the next question 33 dyspnea relieved by walking rapidly is one of the red line symptoms of so dyspnea relieved by walking rapidly very direct question from allen skinnot sepia sepia is the answer and if you see sepia in allen skinnot you can see um, dyspnea aggravation sitting after sleep uh, in room then amelioration by dancing or walking rapidly so amelioration by dancing or walking rapidly we have underlined and study in sepia 34th question skin feels cold touch yet the patient cannot tolerate covering is one of the red line symptoms of so these are uh, symptoms which are there in the materia medica but also this symptom is compared by dr kent in one of his uh, philosophy chapters he compares arsenic album with ckl core so uh, those who have uh, interest in organ and homeopathy philosophy and read uh, kent's materia i mean philosophy they can easily answer this without knowing uh, having the knowledge of materia medica but still this is a repeatedly asked question and the answer is ckl core skin feels cold to touch yet the patient cannot tolerate covering so if you see a ckl core very bold letters it is given in allen's keynote the skin feels cold to touch yet the patient cannot tolerate covering i see coldness of extremities next question 35th question the urine is having highly intensified urinous odor it is dark brown in color the remedy for these symptoms may be so acid force nitric acid benzoic acid lactic acid all acids are given very close running options are given so if you know the symptom uh, if you know the remedy you have uh, revised it it is a time saving question the answer is benzoic acid urine is having highly intensified urinous odor dark brown in color urine dark brown the urinous odor highly intensified allen skinnot symptom in benzoic acid urine dark brown the urinous odor highly intensified 36 question urematism followed by checked diarrhea is found in the first remedy in allen's keynote everybody might have read many times because we always start the preparation from the beginning uh, the first pages of allen's keynote and we end uh, it somewhere around uh, b or c remedies then again we start some other strategy many of us uh, the average students do this so rheumatism followed by checked diarrhea we have seen this symptom many times in abrotanum the first remedy in allen's keynote abrotanum so abrotanum uh, you can see rheumatism for the excessive pain before the swelling commences from suddenly check diarrhea rheumatism from suddenly check diarrhea or other secretions alternate with hemorrhoids with dysentery and these symptoms after heparin pharyncal after aconite and dry in pleurisy when pressing sensation remains in affected side impeding respiration so all this relationship part of allen's keynote is also very very important and southern wood abrotanum southern wood a very important common name interesting common name repeatedly asked common name 37 afraid of sharp pointed things pins needles etc is one of the characteristics of answer is pygelia 
sulfur spongia staphys aureus pyge the very close running s uh, remedies are given uh, to make you uh, like um, uh, go for a wrong uh, uh, because of your carelessness you may go for a wrong click like uh, instead of spigelia you, you may be having spigelia in mind but you may click on spongia so that kind of uh, close running options will be there in upsc so take care while answering so answer is spigelia afraid of sharp pointed things pin needles etc you can see in the lens keynote itself this remedy uh, afraid of sharp pointed things pins needles etc spigelia pink root all roots you have to study uh, you might have seen the 2020 iapgt some roots are, are given in uh, match the following metamedica part so all the roots you have to study in uh, detail and you have to revise them so loganesi family pink root spigelia afraid of sharp pointed things pins needles etc 38 asthma of calica patient is relieved by leaning forward rocking sitting up stretching back so it is very time saving easy question rocking rocking amelioration of calica so you have to be careful uh, whether it is about uh, relieved by or aggravated by don't uh, if you are very sure about the calicap aggravation and um, uh, don't uh, like do the reading of question in a haste or in a fast way just uh, take your time and read and answer properly once again before clicking the answer and saving the uh, option uh, for locking the option just to once again you confirm the question asthma of calicap relieved or aggravated what is asked so this kind of things you have to take care while doing a computer based recruitment test so asthma of calica patient is relieved by rocking so you can see the calica in allen's keynote asthma relieved when sitting up or bending forward or by rocking relieved by sitting up bending forward or by rocking verse from 2 to 4 am next the 39th question is a multiple options answer uh, question pulse is slow soft weak irregular intermittent are the characteristics of which of the following veratrum viride tabacum digitalis so uh, 1 and 2 2 and 3 1 and 3 1 2 3 so this is a uh, like it uh, this kind of question sometimes it will take a lot of time because uh, you have to uh, read it again and again you have to make sure each uh, drug cover or not covering you have to rule out you have to um, uh, make sure so this uh, question if you have uh, good knowledge of allen skin not if you have done a proper revision preparation you can easily answer 1 2 3 because in veratrum viride if you see if you see the allen's keynote veratrum viride you can see digitalis tabacum in bracket of that symptom pulse suddenly increases and gradually decreases below normal slow soft weak irregular intermittent digitalis and tabacum is also there veratrum viride so this is the easiness if you are doing all the brackets properly if you are studying all the symptoms uh, where some brackets are there and the symptoms are co uh, compared with other drugs so th this you have to be very thorough a 40th question most appropriate remedy for piles with much itching piles with much itching answer is petroselenium so petroselenium piles with much itching if you see uh, borix materia medica uh, you can see that uh, piles with much itching in the first paragraph itself of petroselenium palsy then um, you know the symptoms give the keynote for this remedy piles with much itching petroselinum uh, sativa 41st question mental traumatism mental effects from injuries to head chronic brain effects of blows and falls are the characteristics of so these uh, symptoms uh, are there in the allen's keynote itself if you have not done properly you will miss it and you may go for a wrong uh, option arnica ruta hamamis like that answer is natrum sulf so if you see the hcl and keynote itself mental traumatism the direct symptoms you can see mental traumatism mental effects from injuries to head chronic brain effects to of falls uh, and blows so this is the symptom natrum sulfuricum 42 the skin symptoms rough cracks fissures worse during winter better in summer are characteristics of so this is the modality this is the essence of the question worse during winter better in summer so cracks fissures petroleum is the answer so here the um, main essence of the question is worse during winter better in summer so we'll see the petroleum uh, skin symptoms skin of hands rough cracked tips of fingers rough crack fissured every winter every winter they get the problem so that is the question and uh, they are better in summer skin symptoms are worse in winter better in summer 
Alumina is also covering this symptom. So the uh, answer here is petroleum. 43. Pulse is abnormally rapid. Out of all proportion to body temperature are characteristics of. So out of all proportion. Some very interesting uh, lines or words which are not used in all many other drugs. Only one or two drugs these kind of words are used. So such words are uh, important in Adam's keynote. When you are preparing, if some interesting words are used only in one place, you can go for um, making note for that uh, in a special portion like special words or something like that so out of all proportion just write like that and write pyrogenum so pyrogenium is answer out of all proportion to the body temperature pyrogen if you see pulse abnormally rapid out of all proportion to temperature lilium tig also has a similar symptom 44 menses too early too profuse too protracted partly fluid partly clotted flow in paroxysms with labor like pains from the sacrum to pubis the remedy is answer is sabina so sacrum to pubis s to b just uh, you have to remember like this s to b sacrum to pubis so sabina s to b sabina so we should remember like this and uh, other symptoms are also important labor like pains etc so if you see the hcl and skin out from sacrum to pubis drawing pains in small of back from sacrum to pubis everywhere that you can see menses also if you see menses too early too profuse too protracted partly fluid partly clotted in persons who menstruated very early in life flow in paroxysm with colic and labor like pain pain from sacrum to pubis sacrum to pubis these are very interesting and important things then uh, sensation as if lower limbs are made up of wood is the characteristic of and answer is tuja lower limbs wood so this kind of things you have to make note when you read HCL and keynote. These are very interesting things. So made of wood or glass. When walking the limbs feels as if made of wood. Also sensation as if body especially the limbs were made of glass and would break easily. So peculiar sensations whenever is there in Allen's keynote or Boric you have to make note of that. Even this is a question very repeatedly asked in Tuja Occidental. Piles swell and pain most severe when sitting. So piles most Pain severe, uh, most severe when sitting is a uh, previously a repeatedly asked question in Kerala MD entrance or AAPGT. So, Tuja is the answer. The last question of today's episode, 46th question. Keynote symptoms like erratic pains, alternating sides are seen in the drug. Lacaninum, lacasis, pulsatilla, belladonna. Answer is lacaninum. So, erratic pains, alternating sides. So, you can see in the first line of uh, uh, lack an in its CLN uh, symptoms erratic pains constantly flying from one part to another even in uh, pulsatile and calibike also this is there but in the uh, erratic pain such sim, uh, very uh, like peculiar words are used in lack an so pulsatile is not the answer here answer is lack an anum ranging from side to side every few hours extra thank you for watching this episode and uh, don't miss all the previous episodes and all the important uh, useful uh, uh, episodes and playlists uh, which we have made for the UPSC and AAPGT preparation. Uh, we are sure that some question will be there from our uh, videos because in AAPGT 2020 also if you see uh, many questions were there from a, uh, our, our series. So uh, give your suggestions regarding the um, uh, videos we make and also share with your friends and juniors. And keep supporting us with your comments, likes and uh, sharing of these videos. Thank you once again.